the nor. Jolene, what are you doing here? I came to see you. We've missed you. Have you? Really? The whole family has missed you. Although we never said it to you. Tell me some more. Oh, tell me. Tell me. Ate Sisa and Kuya Pashano are visiting you tomorrow. Why? Tell me about everybody. You're not looking too well. We came to see you because you heard you because we heard you were ill. Now don't lie to me. Be as honest as you've always been with me while we were in college together. Hasn't everything been alright with you? You silly girl. I'm well and I'm happy. Well, I'm glad you called me silly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've been silly, <laughs> haven't I? But I love it. I love it because that's me. I've been myself and look what's become of me. No, you haven't been yourself. You've allowed them to push you into your life. Let's not talk about me. I'm dying to hear all the news. Ate Sisa and Kuya Pashana sent me ahead. Why? Because I've had the courage to be myself, that's why. And as a consequence, I defied all of them. I don't give a hoot if they are ashamed of me, of what I've done, because I've, uh, I've followed the promptings of my wild heart. But I've lived a full life free from frustration. That's why the family always tries to make me walk alone. And I want you to know that I love it. How often have I wanted to be like you? How different our lives might be if we were not what we are. It's too late now. Kuya Pepe has missed you. I know that's what you've been wanting to hear. God, yes! I know how long. How long has it been? Tell me, how is he? Where is he? Is he safe? Tell me everything. He is lonesome in the Pitan. The government officials and the friars, as usual, are after him for everything. For using his brains. That is to attack their evil ways and their corruption. So, they cooked up the idea of exiling him there. Oh, Pepito? Is he well? Yes. Only as lonesome. Why hasn't he ever married? You should know the answer to that question. And who is this Josephine Bracken? <laughs> Josephine. <laughs> She's all alone in the world. Poor thing. We are, all of us, alone. All alone in the world. My brother took pity on her. That's all there is to it. How different everything might have been had we defied our parents. Had he come to Camiling that time when he was so near to me in Pampanga? I'd have defied everybody to snatch at my happiness. That's what I'd have done. You are a shooting star that moves ahead of time. I wish I had been like that. We are what we are, I guess. And time limits most of us. I understand. Far be it for me to accuse you. Only now you've got to get out of this sorrow. I wish I could. But I'm way down deep in the mire of my feelings. However, who knows but that life might yet turn out to be beautiful. I feel it coming. That incomparable loveliness, that beauty which one so rarely glimpses before death. Yes. That's one way to look at your story. I must really say hello to Tia Betang or she won't forgive me. I'd like to see your boy and talk to your husband too. 
They are here somewhere. Look around, children. You miss me so much when I'm gone. Of course, darling. All of us would. But why talk of death? Darling. Yes. Do you... Do you think your brother would? Kuya Pepe, of course. Of course he would, I know it. Does he still love me? He cannot love anyone else. <gasps> you make me so happy. God, 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 how long has it been? How empty the years have been without his love. I'm glad I know he still loves me. Now I don't really care if my candle of life is extinguished. I want the rest, Cholin. I only want the rest. Come on. Pull yourself together, darling. You had better lie quietly here and rest for a while. Thank you. It might be best for you to sleep. Oh. I so want to have a long, long sleep. I want to rest. Cholin. Yes, darling. Before you go to see mother, do you mind playing that music box? Oh, of course not. <laughs> but I put the unknown some little tune. You rest for a while. Hmm? Maybe. Is it evening? Yes. Come now, don't worry too much. Good night. Rest. Rest. That's the idea. Good night. My child, my darling, beautiful child, what have I done to you? Wake up. Time has fled. Wake up and talk to your mother. She is dead. Your own sweet, lovely child is dead and you have killed her. Sabel, don't leave me alone with her. Let me be punished for my sins, but don't leave me alone with her! Oh, what a waste! Nevertheless, you had your fill of victory. Time has fled from her, but not from us, whose selfishness had become the burden of her life. Time is long, and the years stretch on and will punish me. Forgive me, child. Forgive me. With her death, you must close the windows of your house and let no light come in. Let that be your punishment. Goodbye. And may God be with you. Sabel! Sabel! Don't leave me alone! Don't leave me! Sabel! Do you know? Do you know? Pepe, I've been waiting. Rise and uh, let, let me look at you. <laughs> there. How does it feel to die? Wonderful. It feels like being on a hilltop and you can see everything in its proper perspective. I can touch the silent stars. I've long wanted to touch the stars. You will touch them, darling. I know you will also touch them. Before I say goodbye to Earth, before you go to your great death, tell me once more you love me. For eons and eons of years, I'll say it. I'll say it to you in my dreams. I'll, I'll say it through the eternity that will join us. <laughs> say it also to life. 
which was not too kind to us. The stupid men, those foolish, selfish, crazy mortals down there. Say it, darling. For soon we are going to reach the hilltop. Goodbye to you, beautiful but cruel earth. Take time to look at the stars and play the violin. Do not forget our songs. Goodbye, world. Goodbye. Come away, my darling. Come away.